event, Jordan and Jenna. Thank you so much for inviting me to speak. And for all your hard work putting this together. And to everyone who helped bring us together today. For far too long, lawmakers have been working overtime to destroy access to abortion, state by state, law by law. Now, with the draft opinion leaked earlier this month, it looks like the Supreme Court will overturn Roe v. Wade and our constitutional right to an abortion. Now, it's important to remember that this leaked opinion is still just a draft. Abortion remains legal right now across the nation, and it remains legal here in South Dakota for now if you are still looking for access. Still, this leak confirms our deepest fears that the Supreme Court is ready to take away our ability to control if, when, and how we have a child. And it is deeply painful to all of us who believe that the right to control our own bodies and to make such deeply personal medical decisions is ours, not the government's. Yeah. Yeah. a criminal act in South Dakota thanks to a trigger law that's been on the books since 2005. That means that people would have to travel out of state to get essential care, which is something that's impossible for many people to do. Coordinating travel, taking time off of work, child care, and lodging will push abortion care out of reach for many and will disproportionately harm the same people who have always faced systemic barriers to care. Black, indigenous, and other people of color, the LGBTQ and two-spirit community, undocumented immigrants, young people, those living in rural communities, people with disabilities, and people with low incomes. All people who can get pregnant need the ability to make decisions about their lives and their bodies, to access abortion care when they need it, in the way that works best for them, and with the guidance and support of providers that they trust. Yes! <laughs> The ability to obtain abortion care is fundamental to a person's independence, freedom, equality, autonomy, and economic security. No one should be forced to carry a pregnancy against their will and forced to endure the life-altering consequences of being denied essential health care. <laughs> Overturning Roe v. Wade would be an unprecedented action Never before has the Supreme Court deprived half the country of a constitutional right, and the court has on occasion overturned precedents in the past, but virtually always to expand rights and protections, not to take them away. It's beyond time for South Dakota to recognize that abortion care is essential health care. Yes. Yep. Yes. It is our right to shape our families, to access the health care we need, to decide when or whether or how we have children, and how we shape our lives. Banning abortion care won't stop South Dakotans from needing and seeking abortion care. It just ensures that South Dakotans seeking abortion care have a much more difficult and costly experience accessing it, and it will force people to seek abortion care outside of the healthcare system. When someone needs to have an abortion, it should be safe, accessible, and free from punishment or judgment. Yes. time for all people who can get pregnant and all people who love us. It's been a hard few weeks since the leaked opinion. It's been a perpetually hard time for the amazing people on the ground in this state who've been fighting tooth and nail to preserve abortion rights for years. And I need to shout out right now the organizers, the advocates, the abortion providers, the clinic staff, the storytellers, the champions for abortion rights who can be an inspiration to us in this dark time and champions who need our support. It's amazing to see everyone out here, and I can't express how important events like these are where we get to come together and be in community. We have to take these opportunities to be there for one another, to support each other in this fight, because it can take you down if you don't have any people to hold on to. Whatever happens when the court actually issues this decision, we must never give up. Everyone can fight back, and we need to use every tool in our toolbox to fight for one another and our right to abortion. Take to the streets and have your voices heard like we're doing today. Contact your elected representatives. Flood the newspapers with letters to the editor. If you're safe to, talk about your abortion story. Talk to the people around you about why you support abortion. Support your local abortion movement. Donate and get involved with abortion funds, health centers, and reproductive justice organizations. Organizations like Planned Parenthood, the Justice Empowerment Network, 
South Dakota's chapter of the National Organization for Women, Uniting Resilience, South Dakota Campaign for Happy, uh, Healthy Families, the ACLU of South Dakota, and more. And then vote. Vote like your rights depend on it because they do. If abortion access is going to be left up to the political process, then we have to make all of these actions a practice. We need to show up today like we have. And we need to show up tomorrow and the next day and the next. We need to be in this for the long haul. We must keep going and we must do so in solidarity with all communities who are continuously subject to these attempts to violate our right to bodily autonomy and self-determination. We need to make it clear that no person should be forced to carry a pregnancy against their will. The right to decide when and whether we have a child belongs to us, not the government. Yeah.